Hello fellow blenders, in this video I'm going to show you a very very quick and dirty way of doing um, flat eyes and being able to pose them easily, very easily, without too much mess, without any modifiers, without any anything else. Just very simple uh, shader, basically, and possible, it's possible to rig it, but um, I'm not going to do that. So I've just got this head here, I downloaded it. Um, because I don't do anime style, but I know many people like to, so um, I thought I'd share this little thing that I discovered. So I'm just going to add some faces in here to fill out the eyes. Just make sure oh, that's pretty flipped, isn't it? Is it flipped? No. Okay. So I've got the eyes, and I'm going to add this um, eye shader. Well, I'll start from scratch just to show you. Make a new one. I'm going to call it I, I dot L. This is one for the left eye, one for the right eye. But don't worry, very easy. I'm just going to assign this. Whoops, assign the I dot L. Go into the shader. And this is my I dot L. I'm going to add a gradient texture. A color ramp. Plug that in there. Plug that in there. And I'm going to click on the gradient texture. And if you've got Node Wrangler enabled, you should have. You hold Control and press T. And you get this texture coordinate and mapping node. I'm going to switch these around and switch to constant. Okay, then let's just from here I can just add an empty, which is somewhere. And I want to just get it lined up with the eye. Some of you might know what I'm doing already, which is great. And so you probably should have figured out how to do this by yourself. Empty, lined up there, roughly. I'm going to call this empty left eye. Go back to my shader. Oh, no, that's okay. Click on select object into vector and then choose my empty. And if I just now click on the empty, go to add object constraint and choose shrink wrap. And my target is the skin. It should work, but it's not. Object. Hello. Please do as I command. Oh, I've got to switch this to spherical. Whoops, there we go. Okay, so we've got one eye, yeah? So now all I want to do is, because I roughly lined this guy up, I'm going to duplicate this one, move it over, and it should be able to pop into about the same spot, or not. That's a bit high, isn't it? Let's just get that roughly... Yeah, lined up, let me call that one right eye. And then, so I need to go into the shader, copy this material, add a new one, eye right, eye, or what did I call the other one? Eye dot R, I'm sorry, eye yeah, dot R. And click, oops, eye dot R. Click this one, let's make sure we paste this material. And assign. And so now in i.r, I'm going to change from my left eye to my, oh, hang on, let's save. And I like when I did this before it crashed. Right eye. Cool. It's a bit off, isn't it? Let's, let's try and get these about the same to start with. Okay, so yeah, we've now got some eyes and they're a bit crazy. But now if we just, let's go back into layout mode, add another empty. Forward, I'm going to scale this one up a little bit. I uh, call this Eye Master, and now I can just click, click one eye, select one eye, shift select the other eye, control, and then shift select the master, control P, object, and now I can just move this, this around, and I've got pretty good eye control, which only goes a bit crazy when you push it too far, but you know that's because of the shrink wrap. You can mess with the shrink wrap. Uh, constraint here whether you want it on the surface or how far you want it to go so yeah I think that's pretty cool and also you can do the size but yeah so in theory uh, I don't really want to do it but I guess I can all right I'll give it a try in theory you could parent this to the eye control of a meta rig of a rigify rig and it will let's give it a try okay 
can move that into the other page. Go back to 1 I've already done because I've um, moved everything into this archive. I've already <coughs> aligned, not not really, but I've aligned this. Let's just give it a try. So if I, I haven't, this is not lined up at all, but I'm just going to generate rig. Okay, and then if I click this one, uh, okay, we'll do a child of constraint. And we'll click, say, is it the eye, eyes? Whoa, clear and reverse, and reverse. Let's see what happens if we, yeah, so there you go. That works pretty well. And so then you don't have to always see this guy. You could just hide it and yeah. It's not bad. It, I think you have to spend a bit of time to make sure your eyes have some good uh, geometry because I did not do that. Okay, so if you you know you've got this now, if you, let's say let's put my rig back. Where's my rig? Yeah, so I've got this these functioning eyes. Let's say I wanted to take it one step further, and so I'm going to go into my shading editor. I'll do it with the left eye first, and I'll copy the stuff across. Um, right. So the first thing I'm going to do is just shrink the iris down a little bit yeah um, so then if I just grab all oh, this is the, the gradient setup if I just move this across slightly shift and D to duplicate and then I'm going to make put this back to uh, whoops put all these back to one and I'm going to set this as uh, blue yeah I'm going to add a mix shader mix RGB sorry plug that in there Plug this in here and change this to, I think, multiply. Yep, bring that up. So now I've got an iris of sorts. Okay, so that's one quick thing I could do. I could then go even further, duplicate this up and duplicate. I'll just bring these back a little bit. Duplicate this mix shader, mix RGB, sorry. And I'm going to set this to add, and I'm going to plug this one in here. I'm going to switch these over. I'm going to make this into a black. Make this one into a white, and then I'm going to make it smaller, much smaller, and stretch it a little bit. No, sorry, that's not stretch, is it? Sorry, stretch it like that. Yeah, and then just offset it slightly. Put it on the Z as well, maybe not that far. But yeah, and then we've got that effect, whatever it's called. I don't do anime stuff, but um, yeah. And then if, you know, if you wanted to, you could do that again. I had a mix shader, mix RGB, sorry, in here. Whoops. And duplicate this bring it up here, plug it in down here, and I'm going to make another one which is uh, even smaller, and bring that back to, or make it even, even smaller, and bring it up a little bit on the Z, let's bring it on the X, make it that way, and you get that anime stuff sorry I'm not I'm not belittling anime I just don't watch it so I don't know anything about it but I'm pretty sure they have stuff like this going on in their eyes um, and yeah so then you would just copy copy this whole setup go to the right eye paste it and make sure you change the target to be the uh, right eye controller and then yeah I think that is not bad at all we've got this guy who looks like he's had a stroke because his eyes are dilated differently but yeah and i think that's pretty nice if you found that useful please drop a like thanks very much